Hey everybody, today we are going to talk about the compare statement. I'm going to show you one of the most useful queries in my daily work as a data analyst. And I'm also going to show you how you can test this at home. So how you can test it is very easy. You just type SQLite online in Google and then you have a SQL database editor, which you can just use to try out stuff. So now we already have here a table called demo. So let's select star from demo. As you can already see here below, we have three columns, ID, name and hint. And we are going to use this table and another one that we are going to create to test this compared statement. So I'm going to create the new table. I already have a ChatGPT command here, create table demo two as select star from demo. Okay, so let's use this command to create the new table. Now here you can see now demo two in the left bar before we just had demo. And now let's select also all the results from demo two to check it out. All right, so it looks the same, but is it really the same though? That's why we can use compare statements to check if two tables are really the same, that they look the same. Okay, so now I can go to my GitHub. I'm going to post you the link in the description from the statement. I'm going to copy my compare statement. I'm going to use it here. Now, what is this compare statement actually doing? So in the beginning, we have two uh, common table expressions that we are creating. First, we call new and the other one old. So the new table is the demo2 table that we just created. So we say here, select star from demo2. And the old table is going to be demo table, select star from demo. And now what this statement is going to do, it's uh, going to keep all the records that they are in the new table and not in the old table. We call this new without old and vice versa. So we are going to keep all the records that they are in the old table and not in the new table. And additionally to that, we are also going to mark these records as uh, with a new column called source. And we're going to write, is it a record from the old table or from the new table if it's different? Then we are going to combine all the different records and then we are going to give them out in the end. So because they should be exactly the same. Now what, how many records would you expect to come out? So the way that this statement is written, you actually will get zero records if they are identical. So that's what we would expect here. And we see zero records. Okay, so these tables are really exactly the same. Now I'm going to copy this and now I'm going to update the second table to see a difference. So now let's select, let's look at the output again. Select star from demo two. Okay, so now we have ID, name and hint. So let's, let's uh, try to change it a bit. I'm going to change the second uh, row here with ID equals two. And I'm going to set the name SQL online to markers. So let's update this record, update which table I want to update. I want to update the demo two table and I want to send set the name column to Marcus where ID equals two. And now let's see in the demo two table what changed. Okay, so now we see before it was SQL online in the second ID row and now we have Marcus. So now let's run again the compare statement that we had before. And now what would you expect? Would you still expect empty records come out? Now let's run this. Okay, so now we see two records coming out. It actually says here is a change. Now we can see immediately the ID column is the same, the hint column is the same, only the name column changed as we would expect. We can see here the record markers in the new source and in the old source, it was SQL online. So not only see we see that there was a change, we also see what changed exactly in what field and what was it before the change and what is it after the change. So when you ever you want to compare similar results or supposedly the same results, this compare statement is very useful. So if you liked the video, please uh, give it a like and, and comment in the comment section and see you in the next one.